Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to choose a fishing reel. All right, so when it comes to picking a beginning fishing reel, um, there's two choices in my mind. One is the push button type, and two is a spinning reel. Now this one, I don't completely recommend. Why? Because it has a lot of problems. This one has the same problems. You get line twist, you get a bunch of other stuff over time as you're using it. The reason I suggest using this one over this one is you can see the problems happening early and you can fix them. You can fix them really, really easily. When the problems happen, put, happen in a push button, you don't see them until it's too late. Then you end up ripping all your line out and it just makes for a bad day. So if you can't figure out how to fish with one of these, this one's okay, but I would suggest a spinning reel. So let's talk about choosing a spinning reel. All right, so let's not forget about sizes. There's so many different large and small uh, spinning reels. There's ultralights like this one right here. Uh, when you're fishing for blue grill, blue, bluegill and crappie, there's another ultralight. This is a 2500 or a 2000 size. And the two that I would use would be either a 3000 or a 4000 size. 4000 seems to be big for most things. 3000 seems to be about perfect. And, uh, and that's really what I suggest to start with. Um, but like I said, stay in your budget. Don't, um, don't, you don't have to buy a $200 spinning reel to make this work. All you want it to, all it's for is for casting out and bringing it back in and get, and bringing the fish in. Make sure you get a good quality one, somewhere between, like I said, between $20 and $50. Stay up in that closer to the $50 range and you'll be just fine. I've got a video on how to, uh, how to put line on a spinning reel and how to cast a spinning reel. I'll put tags, I'll, I'll put them right up here. Actually, they're gonna be right up here. See that little eye that's up in the top corner? That's where they will be. But uh, All right, now choosing a fishing reel or specifically a spinning reel, I mean, the sky's the limit. You can spend two, $300 on a spinning reel, but really to start with, you stay in the 20 to $50 range is what I would look for. But the way you can pick a spinning reel and pick a good one over a bad one is um, you really don't want a whole lot of plastic parts. And the biggest thing I do is I wanna see whether the spinning reel is balanced or not a lot of them and I don't know if this one does or not but when you spin it and if you hold it tight you can feel just a lot of, of resistance it wants to wobble really bad I'm gonna hold it loose to show you guys what what it looks like but if I was to hold this real tight and it didn't stay still then it would be really really out of balance so that's one of the things I do with a spinning reel for me personally just to, to see whether the company really cares about balancing it or not and if they care about balancing it then everything else uh, they care about so you don't want one that looks like this. You want it to, when you hold it tight, it holds pretty still and there's not a whole lot of resistance. Um, like I said, stay in that price range of, uh, of 20 to $50. Stay within your budget and you will be just fine. There are so many different brands. My sponsors, 13 Fishing, have a ton of beginner model spinning reels they just introduced this year. Their $30 ones are almost you know, entirely aluminum, it seems like. They're really, really well made. Um, but you have Quantum, you have Shimano, you have Daiwa, you have a bunch of different models. Okuma makes a good one. Those are the ones I started with. Um, just go shopping, find the one that fits within your budget and then put it on a rod. Now in the next video, we're gonna talk about choosing a rod, um, specifically a spinning rod for you to get started and, uh, and we'll go from there. Well, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day. We'll see you.